I was checking out even when we were playing Naima's, how you were playing off of the melody. Mm -hmm. How do you, how are you hearing that? It's like when you developing your solos, you know. Well, you know what I, what I tell what I t you know what I see is that most guys don't follow their ideas. They they just throw out a bunch of ideas one after the other. So to me, it's just like you're a crazy person battling out the street with different ideas. You know, just talking going from one subject to the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Like, you know. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but you listen to Wayne, you listen to Miles, you listen to Train, you listen to any of the great soloists. They develop their ideas. Their ideas go through the whole song, and so, and and when they come to a better idea, then they go there. So by doing that, you don't have to think of a whole lot of shit. Mm -hmm. You're just following your one idea to to you get to the next one, and and you follow that. And so you're speaking in sentences, and and it it makes sense. To be. <laughs> That's bad. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. It, it's profound because it can be complicated on the harmonic side of things. Mm -hmm. But for a layperson, they can follow that melody. They can follow it. Yeah. And it, you you could be playing. Some of the most advanced extensions of the chord, mm -hmm. but if they follow that melody, they don't even. Yeah. They yeah. don't know how complicated it is. Right. It's not complicated to them. Right. You know, so, but it, it seems to be, you know, I mean, it's a hard thing to do, but, but for me, it's, it's, you, you could, some people solo and some people compose. Mm -hmm. If you're composing, you're thinking about, you're not just going to have, any composer, they don't have a whole bunch of ideas in the song. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the song has certain properties. You got your theme, Yeah. and then you develop it. Sometimes you might have a counter theme, but that's mm -hmm. it. Maybe two. Yeah. yeah. That's classical music way back then. Mm -hmm. But that, that all, I mean, that's where it all started. Because <laughs> Beethoven, man, I've been studying Beethoven. Oh, yeah. Beethoven's a motherfucker. Serious. He, he's like... He started this shit. <laughs> right. He right. did. Cause cause when people used to go to see Beethoven, see now we think they went to see him his symphonies and mm -hmm. shit. They went to see him improv you know what mm -hmm. they call they didn't call it improv. they call it playing off the top of your head. Yeah. They they would ask him and they would go and he'd be playing, you know, they do the symphonies but then they were laying for him to come out by himself. So they would hum melodies to him and say, Vary this one. You know, do some variations on that one. And he'd take a melody, man, and that's what they really went to see. So he was really doing he started this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he that's why the piano has eighty eight keys mm -hmm. because Beethoven he went to old man Stein. Yes. <laughs> it was, you know, because they was it was two people. It was Stein and somebody else who was making the piano. Uh -huh. And so Beethoven wrote this stuff. He said, "Man, I need these. I had these low notes, man, with this stuff I'm writing." Right. So he went to to Stein, mm -hmm. and they made him this piano. And now it's the Stein way. Mm -hmm. That's the Stein way we did that. You know, so now they all do that. Right. But um. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they got all these books out in out in Oakland. Yeah. So I get I mean they got some books on Oh yeah. I you got a book on Jimmy Lee. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, you know Jimmy Lee? Yeah. Wow. You got me right <laughs> it. You know, they got his life his biography. You know, everybody so there's so, a biography about him? About Jimmy Reed, man. And I, I've seen, I used to see him, you know, when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And I love, that's my favorite blues singer. Mm -hmm. And and you find out shit about people, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, I, I, my brother Yusuf Latif, he was, he was an educated man. Yeah. He studied. He, that's what he did in universities. He just go when he traveled around the world. He went to libraries. He was studying. He was a student of music. Mm -hmm. That's the difference, you know, when you study music. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, yeah. Studying is different. Practicing, practicing is one thing. Study is another thing. You, got to mm. you hung out with Yusef a lot. Yeah, I met him really at yeah, a young age. You know. mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they can't. <laughs> they can't figure it out. <laughs> Somebody ain't supposed to be in here. Then they, <laughs> they can't get it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Barnes. Yes.